You have $10 in your pocket and you lose 5. What do you have in your pocket? A hole. Have a look at these images. What do we see? We see items ranging from food to garment, electronic devices to its accessory. One more observation would be that the prices of these items are in the increasing order. Okay, that's cool. Anything else that you notice? Look at the pricing of these items keenly. Strangely, the price of every object here ends with the number 9. Have you ever wondered why the price tags of almost all the items that we encounter end with the number 9? Is there any reason behind it? Let's find out. There is a psychology associated with the pricing of an item. And the price tags that end with number 9 is one among the pricing strategies. This strategy is commonly known as charm pricing. Ever wondered why do companies generally opt for charm pricing and why do we fall for it so easily? It's time to find out. Look at these two price tags. Here, the company deliberately chooses to keep these prices instead of 150 rupees and 1700 rupees. Is there any reason for them to do so? To our surprise, there is. It's a trick. As customers, we're generally emotional fools and this is clearly reflected when it comes to shopping. Why do I say so? That's because while shopping, when we get attracted to any product, we tend to behave less rational or to be precise, our analytical skills drop down. And due to this, mathematical blunders happen. How? Consider our example. We generally associate 149 rupees to spending 140 rupees. Similarly, 1699 rupees to spending 1600 rupees. And thus, we tend to feel that we're spending less than the actual amount and eventually end up buying the product. Alright, now you definitely might be thinking, why don't we associate 149 rupees to 150 rupees and 1699 rupees to 1700 rupees? Well, our brains take shortcuts. How? Whenever we look at any number, we usually tend to approach it from the left to the right. Take for instance 1699 rupees. As we approach the number from the left to the right, we register the first few digits in our brain so strongly that we quickly round off 1699 rupees to 1600 rupees instead of 1700 rupees. To make it more concrete, let's say two weeks later your friend happens to ask for the price that you paid for the item. What would your answer be? I bet you would definitely say the amount was somewhere around 1,600 rupees and not 1,700 rupees. We do not realize, but the fact is that the difference between the actual price and the amount we assume we've spent on the item is close to 100 rupees. Another interesting thing that companies do is they allocate charm pricing under specific brands. Look at these price bands. This can be seen more on e-commerce websites. Let's say if a product is priced at 500 rupees, then it automatically falls under the second category of price band as seen here. By doing this, chances are high that companies might lose potential customers who are looking under the first category. So if the product price is slightly reduced by minimal amount, say by 1 rupee, then it falls under the first category of price band. So it's a win-win situation for both parties, the customers and the companies. This signifies the value of number 9. So, can we say that number 9 is really a magic number? It does look like that. Okay, let's try answering this question now. Where else do we encounter charm pricing? I want you to think an answer. That is correct, almost everywhere. Supermarkets, retail shops, 
online streaming platforms, food outlets and the list seems to go on. Thus, the moral of the story is that in more competitive scenarios, we generally tend to encounter charm pricing strategy. We also tend to find prices like 181 rupees, 57 rupees, 63 rupees. What do they mean? Is there any psychological strategy behind it? This is your cue box to explore. Let us know your interesting answers in the comment section below. Do share this video with your loved ones if you found it useful. Be curious and happy learning!